So this time we'll talk about the hot wire cutter. I actually broke the hot wire cutter in making this video and if you hang out till the end you can see the outtakes where that happened. Um, so you can look forward to a video on how to fix your hot wire cutter in the near future. Anyway, let's see how mine works. Well, used to. All right, so this is the hot wire cutter, homemade. Piece of ply board. I cast this actually out of lost foam. Eventually I'll get a board that I cast myself as well. But its basic workings are a screw in here with the electrodes One's attached to the guitar string, and one's attached to the wire that comes out the back. The guitar string, uh, now I'm not a musician, but it's, uh, if you buy a cheapy guitar string packet like Target, it's not the highest note, but the next highest note, second to highest. That guitar string, and I just got it bolted onto here with a spring, so that as it heats up, the spring keeps tension, keeps it vertical. And that wire runs back, goes through a little hole here, and both of those wires are just connected to a cell phone charger. This one is 5 volts, 2.5 amps, and that seems to work just perfectly. So, eventually I'll put a switch on it, but for now, you just plug in the phone charger, give it about 15 seconds, and it starts cutting through foam like hot knife through butter. Nice, clean cuts. It doesn't matter how thick it is either, it'll cut through the whole thing. It slows down on the thicker stuff because it has to keep its heat nice and easy Oh. Well, there goes that project. <laughs> <laughs>